Hi there, Leos. Welcome to your love, romance, and relationship reading. So, first of all, I'm feeling like for those of you in a relationship, it's kind of like you have a ride or die type of a partner. And I feel like you and your partner are very similar in the way that you do things, in the way that you believe in certain ideologies. Um, and I also feel like, you know, finishing each other's sentences. So I feel like there is a kindred soul connection between you and your partner. And you've been through many, many obstacles with each other. And this, I believe it was the... I don't know if it was the Gemini or the Cancer reading where there was this um, overcoming adversity. I think it was Gemini. Overcoming adversity, overcoming many obstacles with your relationship partner. Having a strong, a long and a strong history with your partner that really tested the character of you and the character of your partner and how the two of you will behave under pressure. So I feel like you're with somebody that you know really, really well and you know them inside and out. And I also feel like there were times where the two of you have had a lot of financial hardships with each other and you were able to overcome it and you were able to survive it. I'm also sensing as well um, that many of you are right now thinking about what's the next step? How do we overcome these uh, challenges? There might be financial issues affecting the relationship and there might be also a geographical distance as well. So I feel like the relationship will be heavily tested for this month, okay? Your relationship, whether or not it's going to uh, flourish and continue into the future or whether or not it needs to be re-examined and it needs to be redefined so that you can be, so that you can have the relationship that you want, okay? So it seems to me as if there's, you've got somebody that you really, really care about and you might have somebody that, you know, will go the distance with you, but it just feels to me like there are external, um, it's like external pressure put imposed upon the relationship so yes the love is still there but whether or not you know depending on who your partner is will your partner still be around will they stick it out through the rough times will you both be okay will this kind of uh, make or break the relationship i feel like that's pretty much the the final thought on that so let me get out all the cards before i talk any further because i'm feeling like the cards are going in different directions but Okay, I'm going to pull out one more actually. Okay, so let me talk about the foundation first. And I feel like we have two prominent characters that we're dealing with right now. So first of all, what we have here in the foundation is we have the king of coins. This is an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And this is somebody that is very, very financially well off. And I also feel this is somebody that is like very interested in you, okay? This is like a really good suitor. But whether or not he or she is 100% single and interested in you exclusively, I feel like that's a different story. This is somebody that is usually like attracted to the way that you look, attracted to the way that you speak, attracted to, you know, your, uh, your demeanor, your physical characteristics. And the reason why I say that is I feel like this is somebody that is, um, is a good person, but I feel it, it's almost like emotionally not as deep. And so they might try to compensate through spending money, you know, like spending money on you, buying gifts, buying luxury items, going out and whining and dining you. But when it comes to having a true emotional connection and when it comes to that sense of loyalty, I feel like it might not completely be there. And uh, they're going to be very honest with you too because what I have here is the two of coins. And the two of coins is like juggling two people. Okay, so you've got somebody here that is dating multiple people 
and they're not they're showing up in the upright position so i feel like this person is not telling you yeah i'm just exclusively seeing you they're going to be very clear and very honest with you that they have a few people that they're dating and they're trying to find the right one because i feel like he or she is trying to find the right one it's just right now they're still going through the process of sifting through and trying to find the right one and it's linked up as well with the three of coins which is third party interference wanting to get to know other people and see what is the best option so i feel like you have an earth sign here that you really like and this person really really likes you there is strong very very strong chemistry and i feel like this person is very attracted to you um emotionally and also compatibility wise i feel like there's something missing and so this might be you know something good for the meantime like it's like a mr or mrs right now rather than a mr or mrs right or rather than you know somebody that you can go the distance with because i feel like there is some difficulty in having and building an emotional connection with this person and if this is somebody brand new i feel like they might be dealing with other people too they might be dating okay so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody that you're very uh, attracted to. And I feel like this person is really attractive, very good looking, a little bit um, on the darker skin, darker hair end, and very financially well off. And I feel like they might they might be the type to, you know, uh, buy a lot of gifts, buy a lot of trinkets, treat you like a queen, treat you like a king. But when it comes to that emotional connection, I feel like something's missing. Um, in the past, what we have here is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is like, this is like the grand love, the great love. It's like usually, you know, the love of our life. And it's a love where we would do anything for the other person. And a lot of you Leos, when you fall in love, you fall really, really hard, okay? Fix signs. When they love, they love very, very deeply. And there is so much intensity in their love that is kind of scary. And with this Ace of Cups in the reverse, is it's almost like expending all of your time, all of your resources, all of your energy, all of your love, giving it away to another person at the expense of yourself. That's what it feels like to me. There was somebody out there that many of you love very very deeply very strongly and i do feel like there was a relationship you know like a marriage a household where the two of you live together share space together possibly had children together and there was a lot of like um the relationship was built up over time so there was a lot of joint bank account joint resources and property even and for many of you i feel like you might have been with this person but for whatever reason the love has run out in the relationship but there were so many things that were built up there might have been children there might have been family expectations and so it got to the point where it's a little bit too comfortable and even though you're no longer in love with this person you're still in the relationship because of all of these material things and now it's really difficult for you to extract yourself to try to figure out what's happening and to try to figure out you know what's the next step that you need to take and if you're in that relationship there might be temptation here i'm sensing from an earth sign okay taurus virgo capricorn and i feel like this is a really on paper this person looks amazing that's what it feels like to me on paper they they look dashing in person they're just really attractive but I feel that you need to be careful, mainly because what's coming in is the realization, the truth, and, you know, things that might manifest the end of December, where you're going to start to see that, especially if you're in a relationship and there's this third party tempting you, you're going to see that you're in a, at a point in your life where you're feeling a little bit low you might also be in that loveless relationship so the attention that you're getting from this person is necessary to kind of fill that void it's necessary to make you feel wanted needed and attractive but in the long run you're going to realize that this person doesn't really you know have that much to offer and then on top of that they are not looking for anything exclusive 
Okay, so it's really important to keep our eyes peeled, and it's really important to be realistic about where we are and why we want certain things because I feel like you might be in a relationship and it's stable but in terms of like the love in the relationship I'm sensing that you know the the financial considerations are overriding the love in the present environment some of you are here and we have here the four of wands and the four of wands is marriage stability so some of you are in stable relationship where you are married to each other and there are good news coming into the picture regarding new addition to the family regarding taking the relationship to the next level if you are coupled up there will be as well opportunities for the two of you to move in together get married share your assets share your um, share your finances share your resources which is also why i felt like they mention in your general reading a restructuring of your financial situation so there could be more people being added to the family there could be new additions um you know like blending of families or even moving in together buying a property celebrating the life that you have together so I'm feeling a lot of people celebrating anniversaries, a lot of people celebrating like um, birthdays together and especially addition to the family baby showers and, you know, bridal showers, um, even your children getting married. So if you are in a solid relationship, I feel like this is completely very, very solid, very happy. And if you are especially in a relationship with another fire sign, both of these are fire energies. So with the Page of Wands here, this is good news. Seeing eye to eye and um, feeling still very passionate about each other through all these years. So if you're in another in a relationship here with a fire sign, Sagittarius, another Leo, or an Aries, I feel like the relationship is very solid. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of support. And I feel like this might be the person that you are you know, going to ride or die with because this to me is very stable okay and then some of you you know in a relationship that you're no longer in love with and being tempted by a third party from the outside crowning this reading is something that you're thinking about i have here the knight of cups and this is a blast from the past here this character showed up in the general reading this is a water sign a pisces a cancer or a scorpio sun moon or rising when it's in the reverse position it's somebody that is very um, difficult to love because they don't really love themselves okay um, I would say that like you know with all the cups when they come up in the reverse position just imagine somebody coming in with their cup upside down all the water pours out they're coming in empty-handed and they're gonna they're gonna take and take and take and then they leave you as well very very empty I feel for some of you, you are thinking about this person and they might be at a distance from you. They might be very far from you. And I feel like for, for those of you who are dealing with this person, they have a lot of things that are going on in their life right now that they have to kind of uh, keep track of, stay on top of. And so if you're dating this person, they're not going to be constantly communicating with you and, you know, checking up on you, wishing you good night, texting you in the morning. I feel like they're trying to figure some things out in their life. And so love and relationship is not really their priority. Um, and especially, you know, you, you need a lot of reassurance in your relationship in order to feel safe. And so I feel like this person... Um, if you're dealing with them, you need to express to them that you need more, okay, in order for you to trust in the viability of the relationship. Because I feel like you're both at a distance, and a lot of the times, too, you know, signals get crossed, okay? So if you are in a stable relationship with them, if they're MIA, it's not because they don't love you, it's because there are other things that they're thinking about. So I feel like some of you will be heavily thinking about here a water sign. For some, it's an ex that you've already tried to leave behind and you're not going to be entertaining their, or not, you're not going to be, you know, keeping their company. And then for others, if you're still with this person, I feel like they're going to be a little bit unavailable and MIA this month and don't 
take any offense to it because I feel like they have other things that they need to take care of. And especially if you're at a distance from each other, it's going to be extra challenging, right? If you're married, I feel like married people, things are really, really good. And I feel that you have people that are very interested. Y you have solid relationship partners that will really, you know, be able to support you. If you are single and dating, be careful that you're not inadvertently dating um, married people, okay? I feel like a very strong third-party vibe, and I feel like somebody comes in, especially an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, looks great on paper, but I feel like he or she is married. I keep seeing that third party, okay? And I'm also sensing as well, um, for those of you who are recently, like, newly single, you're not at a point where you are okay to date just yet. I feel like you need to take more time to do a little bit more healing, to do a little bit more introspection regarding, you know, where you are, where you want to be, who you want to date, and wh whether or not you're ready. Because this is a card about self-esteem here. When it's in the reverse, it's actually very good because it says, like, we're coming out of that cave. We're starting to live our life. We're starting to take new opportunities and take chances. But when we're at this space where we are still feeling a little bit, like, um, uncomfortable in our own skin, the type of people that we're attracting is like this. They do come in empty. And they are also going to take forever to make up their mind. So I feel like you have somebody that is very indecisive coming into the picture for those of you who are single. And be careful about attracting, you know, married people. Steer clear of that, okay? It's not going to be good karma, okay? So I wish you all the best, Leos. Um, I'm actually very worried about you guys, for the, especially with the general reading. I hope this energy clears up by the mid-month reading, okay, and I'll be back for that. So take care of yourself and uh, spend the holidays with your family, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.